Yo! Jello! What is up, everybody? That's a delicious snack. How are you doing tonight? How are you guys doing? So this is our top 10 of E3. The toppest of 10 of games that we thought were pretty rad. Yeah. We're gonna talk about what we liked, uh, maybe touch on stuff we didn't like, and uh, yeah, go from there. Let's just dive right into it. All right. Yeah. Honorable mentiones. Yeah, so these are games that we really liked but did not make our top 10. To make the cut. Yeah, one of mine is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Uh, I haven't really played a Call of Duty since Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, mm -hmm. but uh, this one was pretty dope. Modern Welfare, welfare is a serious problem. <laughs> Modern <days>. Welfare is <laughs> very... That's a deep game right there. <laughs> But yeah, no, it, it looks really cool. Yeah. Um, my honorable mention, and I hate to say this, Final Fantasy XV. Oh, shit. Um, they had a horrible showing at E3. They did. Um, the, the, showing, the trailer was awful. It, um, it, it really was bad. It was just a trailer mashup of all the last things they've done before with dubstep over it. Yeah. And then the throw-in VR stuff. Oh, the VR looks so bad. Now, I'm going to buy this game. I want to, like, totally tell you that. I'm going to buy this game, but their showing at E3 was terrible. Yeah. No, One I, of the worst. It was a dumpster fire. Um, I think they should have just went short and sweet, showed something new, yeah. and then got out of there. Like, show a new summons. Boom. Show, maybe show summons a lot. Show a new area. Yeah. You know, touch upon a new area. Show the car flying. Play some classical music. Yeah, exactly. And then get out of there. Just remind everyone, hey, this is coming out in September. Check it out. Yeah. Another one of my honorable mentions is ReCore. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't own an Xbox One, but I saw gameplay of this, and I think it looks really fun. I mean, I'll get it, so you're going to play it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to at least try it out. Yeah. Like, it, it looks like a really good time. Uh, you said that people were ragging on it on the internet? People were ragging on it for some reason. They uh, they didn't think the gameplay looked that great when it shit kind of looks like Mega Man Legends. So yeah, what's like, wrong with you? Yeah, it kind of looks like fun. Like, yeah. it doesn't look like it's going to be revolutionary or anything, mm -hmm. but it kind of like makes makes me think of old school like Ratchet and Clank or Mega mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, it's, it's going to make me happy. Yeah, like it's just kind of like a, oh, this is nice. Speaking of happy, segue, We Happy Few is on my honorable mentions. This okay. is X Bioshock Peeps. This is a weird game. Uh, it's been announced a, a while ago, and mm -hmm. it is just continually getting weirder and weirder. And I just find they've just been leaking little bits of information about yeah. it. Um, it looks weird. It's set in a weird world. It's randomly generated levels, which sounds intriguing. It's choice based. Everyone wears weird masks. Hey, man. It's I'm just weird. I'm going to play it because I love Bioshock. It's one of my favorite video games of all time. Yeah. So I'm gonna play it. Uh, it didn't make my list because I didn't really get a chance to see too much about it. Yeah. Yeah. So disclaimer, not on my list. Sure. Speaking of lists though, let's dive into it. <laughs> Boom, that's a segue. Hard segue. All right, what's your number 10? Number 10, South Park, Fractured Butthole. Oh, the Fractured Butthole. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched. Uh, about that as well. Um, I love the Civil War like trailer. I mm -hmm. love that they were the main like conflict is them arguing about whether to have a Netflix show yeah. or like just the where to take their franchises. I think that was hilarious. But I'm I'm just not as excited as other things on my list. Um, I enjoyed the, the the last one a lot. Yeah, it played like a South Park episode. Oh, it's so much fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, with a shame is I just looked at my list. I forgot. Oh, well, don't mind, but you're good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, third honorable mention for me is South Park. It totally would have made my list, but to be honest, I just forgot about it. Uh, That's telling. Which, which is uh, really good for all these, to show how many good games were at E3 this year. Exactly. Yeah. To yeah. forget about South Park, that's amazing. What's your number 10 guy? Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil. Or 7. 7. It's okay. 7. Okay. I know, I'm, I'm not on point, guys. I'm a little tired. I resent your judgment. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I got to actually play the demo of Resident Evil. I wasn't too hyped about it when I saw the trailer at E3, but when I played the demo, it was like, fuck. Yeah, the trailer sucked. Yeah. Like, I didn't know what it was. I was like, oh, is this a new Silent Hill? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it turned out to be Resident Evil, and I was like... He was not happy. Excuse me? I played the demo, though. I think it's great. It's a great atmosphere. I hope the combat is handled well. And I just read an article recently. It's not going to be zombies. 
Uh, it'll be something else. Oh, that's very interesting. So I don't know what those guys are. Yeah. Um, okay. Probably dipping in some Kool Aid, I imagine. You know, it's about time for a change. I respect them for that. Well, they've been doing for a while, like 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 very parasitic things in people's heads and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's still zombie esque. It's very zombie esque, but still. Anyway, um, my number nine, mm-hmm. Detroit. Detroit. Um, I love Quantic Dream. They just announced recently that Indo- Indigo Privacy Provis- Prophecy okay. is coming to PS4. They are remaking it uh, oh, okay. with HD graphics and trophies and whatnot. Nice. Um, I love these games. I love Beyond Two Souls. Heavy Rain was great. Um, I just love the amount of choices. I love how tense it gets, and I love robots. Yeah, I like I like me a good robot. I love being an android. Yeah. Um, I heard this might have a, like multiple cast members that you get to play as, which I, I love. Yeah, like, uh, same thing as Heavy Rain. Yeah, exactly. Um, I I'm excited to see what they do with it. Um, I love these type of games. Uh, you know what? Uh, it would have made my list, but I wasn't too psyched on Heavy Rain. I enjoyed my playthrough of it, but it's not my favorite game that's ever come out. I didn't play Beyond Two Souls. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely give this one a try, but it's not something I'm overly excited about. Sure. Um, my number nine is Spider Man. Uh, you know what? Uh, so we actually got to go to an E three event today, and at my bar they were having an E three after party, mm-hmm. and I got to meet some of the Insomniac game developers. Now, did you ask them about Spider Man at all? Uh, I was just like, hey, I just want to say I played all the games you guys made. What's up with Spider Man? And they're just like. We can't really say anything. I was like, that's cool. I want you to tell me, but I know you can't. I really want to know, like, how they nailed it. Like, how they got the I know. Like, like, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It was was rumored to be Sucker Punch for a while. Yeah. Which kind of fits. But you know what? Uh, I'm more than happy that Insomniac is making this game. I think that's one of the big reasons why it made my list. Uh, I haven't enjoyed a Spider-Man game since Spider-Man 2, Mm -hmm. uh, but the trailer for this looks sweet. So cool. It looks fucking cool as shit. It's so cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited about the new Spider-Man game coming out. All right, where are we at on time? Uh, seven minutes. Okay, so we got a good three minutes. So we can get through one or two more. All right. Yeah. My number eight is Titanfall Two. Ooh, Titanfall Two. I loved the first one. I didn't play it as much as I did. I wish I did because I just didn't have a crew. I didn't have a crew of uh, other Titans with me to fall with. Um, but the second one, the fact that there's going to be a campaign now mm-hmm. and that you're a soldier that has a um, Titan that follows you around that has a mind of its own is so cool. That is pretty dope. Um, they're introducing grappling hooks. Oh, I love me a good grappling hook. And it looks so good. Um, it just sounds like it's going to be a more polished version of the first one, which is fine, because if it's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, absolutely. And I am so excited to jump back into that game. No, for sure. Um, the Titanfall 2, unfortunately, is not on my list, uh, but mostly because I didn't play the first one. I didn't, I didn't, I've never owned an Xbox one, so I haven't had a chance to really play it. Sure. Yeah, uh, but it, from what I saw, it did look cool. Uh, yeah. I'm going to jump into my number eight, which is The Last Guardian. Okay, yeah. yeah. I forgot to put that on my list. Oh, see? We're, we're just a very forgetful bunch of people. Yeah. But uh, it looks really pretty. Yeah. It, like, artistically, like, it looks like it's going to have a heavy emotional impact on you, which I love games that do that. Yeah. Um, and it looks like it's going to be, like, a platformer and puzzle-solving game, yeah. which I love puzzles. I love a good puzzle game. Yeah. So just seeing like all the different things that you can do, I'm like, all right, I'm sold. This game's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna I, it's gonna I, hurt in the best way. It's gonna hurt. I'm gonna be playing a game like this. Yeah. Or actually, yeah, like this. It's gonna have a lot of feels. Yeah. 